Hello, my name is Hugo Gonzalez, and I'm an application specialist here at Mamaki. Today, I'll review a basic bottle print workflow with the Mamaki Kebab MK2, from machine setup through design tips and printing. I'll be using Rationalink 6 Plus on the UJF 6042 MK2 with the Kebab MK2L option. I'll be designing on Adobe Illustrator and printing on powder-coated aluminum bottles. There are two kebab models, the MK2 and the MK2L. The main difference is a print width. At just under 12 inches, the MK2 fits both the 3042 series machines and the MK2L fits on the 6042 and the 7151 Plus. I'll be printing a design similar to this on a white bottle of the same type. The Kebab MK2 is designed to print on cylindrical substrates, such as these water bottles, but it has all the flexibility of UV ink. It can print on powder-coated materials, metals, glass, and plastics. The main consideration is that it's a smooth cylinder. Before I install the Kebab, I like to check the test print on the flat table. It is possible to perform a test print after installation, but it's easier to do it prior. To install the Kebab MK2, first begin by selecting the Jig option on the UJF menu. This will bring the table to the front and lower it all the way to the bottom if it isn't already. Then I'll continue by removing the table legs. Remember to disconnect the table vacuum cable before lifting the table too high. I'm going to be removing both leg sections because most of my printing is on bottles that are more than two and two and a half inches in diameter. If it's less, you would only remove one section per leg. And then replace the table. Install the right corner guide by facing both holes toward the front and fasten it with one thumb screw on the lower right. Do the same to the left side, placing the thumb screw on the, on the left. Toward the back of the table area, Loosen the thumb screws from the connection panel and connect the data cable. Then place the kebab on the table and place the edge flush with the left guide first and then with a table. This will align the threaded holes for the thumb screw. It requires only light finger tightening. You still want it to move just a little because the right side isn't aligned yet. Now do the same to the right side. Make sure it's flush with the guide and fasten it. Now plug the cord in the back, noting the orientation of the pins. The spring loaded ring will lock into place. Just note that to remove it after use, Pull back on the ring slightly and it will release. Press enter to confirm the option jig has been set. And that's it for the basic installation of the Kebab MK2. Let's set it up for printing now. First, loosen the thumb screws for the substrate guides on the Kebab on the left and right and move them away towards the edges. Then I'm gonna measure the bottle and make a note of the measurement because we're going to use it in a few different places right now and when we're designing. Make sure to measure at the widest point of the bottle. Okay, so on the LCD panel, select Menu, then Work Set, then Enter. And then it's going to ask you the diameter we just measured. My bottle was at 77.7 .7 millimeters. Place the bottle on the rollers and slide the right guide to meet it. And then just finger tighten the screws. Make sure that you're getting it at the flattest part of the bottom. 
Then slide the left guide to meet the left edge. You can also adjust the height of the roller to meet the bottle opening. It's worth noting that, you know, you should remove the caps so that you're working with the smooth edge. Now that you've done that, scroll down on the menu to Kebab Origin Set and press Enter. This will place the bottle into the printing position. Using the left and right arrows, move the pointer to select the start edge of the print. Press Enter. Now it's ready to print. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about the design a little bit. This is an image I'm gonna print on a bottle. I've designed it to appear like a full wrap, but as you can see, the image is placed right at the edges on the print on the right and the left to appear continuous. The artboard is also already laid out for the size of the printery of the bottle. From top to bottom, it's just measured. And then to get the width of the image, all we have to do is take that measured diameter, 77.7 millimeters, and multiply it by pi, 3.14. You don't have to actually do any math for this. You can just type 77.7 .7 times 3.14 into the dimensions box. So now that we have this, we should have the full wrap print area for the bottle. Now here's a little design tip if you're not going to be printing graphics that wrap all the way around the bottle like this. If you're going to print a centered graphic only on one side of the bottle, and if it's otherwise blank, or it doesn't really matter where you print it, you can group everything and align it to the left edge so that it starts printing at the designated origin. I recommend you reduce the size of the artboard on the sides because depending on how you intend to print it, for example, if you're only printing CMYK like I am today, the kebab will spin forward. So the left side of this image is the starting point. However, if you're printing it with a white underlay on a darker bottle, the print will spin backwards so it's going to actually begin with the artwork on the right edge. Here's another example. Let's say you want to print one image on the front of the bottle and a second image on the opposite side of the bottle. A little trick that you can do without needing much math is you can center justify the main image and the part that you want on the exact opposite side you center along one of the edges. It doesn't matter which. Once you've done that, you group all of the images and then you left or right justify it. This will give you the spacing that you need for the images to be on the opposite sides of the bottle. In any method that you use, be sure to use the artboard option while saving. This will ensure that you keep the spacing, especially along the top and the bottom of the image that you're printing. Okay, so I'm loading the image that we just worked on. Looking at the icons on the right, if you don't see the kebab option, to enable it, go into printer management and then select function icons. I'm going to increase these a little more so they show better on video. The first thing we want to do is select a profile and identify the color settings. As I've pointed out before, I like to use Adobe 1998 and Graycall 2006 since they are the widest gamuts respectively. Now all I need to do is select the kebab icon. This part isn't necessary, but I'm going to show you how it works. Here we're going to enter the diameter of the bottle. My raster link is an empirical unit, so I'm going to have to quickly calculate between millimeters and inches. 
I like to use I like to use Google because it's really quick. I said it's not necessary because because no matter what we put here, raster link will print the full image that we load. This is useful if you're stretching an image and you want raster link to make the calculations uh, for the print area of the bottle. Here we have image rotation. And since our bottle is laying perpendicular to the print orientation, be sure to rotate at 90 degrees. Now all we need to do is rip and print. Thanks again for joining us today. Please feel free to ask any questions.